Hi, this is Christy with Art of Awakening. Thanks for watching. And I just wanted to share a few thoughts today about holidays as energy portals. I am recording this on Easter of um, 2019. And, but it doesn't really matter, like, if you celebrate Easter or if you don't, you know, maybe you celebrate Beltane or spring or, or whatever it is. Um, but what happens during a holiday is that there's many, many people joining together that are really, there's this collective intention or this collective just awareness. Um, and that is powerful. So, you know, Christmas is a big one, but it's also solstice, you know, the winter solstice. These things come a lot of times at the same times. And that's, that's you know, that is for a reason because they're, they are typically located in time around sort of these energy portals in time. But as people begin to celebrate together, and especially over time as the traditions happen, the power of these, it becomes like these energy portals, this, this ability to shift the energy. There's a big shifts in energy that happen at these times. And so these become, especially as ones that have amassed a tradition around them, they become very, very powerful portals, basically, um, where... And the reason I'm sharing this is that on these special days, it's it's really, I think there's even a greater ability to manifest or to, you know, your own energy is going to be amplified by the energy of the collective. And so if you set intentions during these times, or if you, you know, if you have strong emotions coming up at these times, they actually may affect you and those around you more powerfully than usual. Um, and I just kind of want to mention, if you are hooked into that particular tradition, it's going to be even more powerful for you. But even if you're not, it, it does change, you know, the energy of the collective of the world. So, you know, you may or may not celebrate Easter, but, you know, even if you just enjoy colored eggs and chocolate bunnies, or even if you don't celebrate Easter at all in any way, there's still that collective energy around it that you will be feeling and tuning into, whether it's Easter or the Jewish High Holy Days or, you know, Ramadan or, or whatever it is. Um, the, so I guess what I'm saying here is that uh, you may or may not be watching this on Easter or, you know, but but keep in mind that next holiday that rolls around and it goes for secular holidays too. I mean, if you, if you look at something like independence day, um, you know, there's a lot of energy around there and, and you can kind of feel into what that energy is and how you might actually use it to, um, you know, use it for purposes, hopefully of light, right? Um, but you can actually tap into that energy and, you know, ride the wave a little bit, right? Um, sometimes the energy turns out not to be something that we're like too happy about, or it may or may not manifest in light ways. Um, but I think to be aware of that as well, and then we can do things to you know, shift it because if there's there's any kind of energy, it can be shifted in one direction or another, right? And so, uh, to be aware of the energy as energy that's there, and to do our part to shift it in ways that are for the highest good of all. And some examples of that um, might be to um, you know do your own meditation that that's a big one or to celebrate the holiday right to celebrate it um and really just in, enjoy it have fun watch the family dynamics because those are amplified during holidays and uh just 
you know, really set the intention before going into a, a family, <laughs> um, a family situation, especially when there's, you know, lots of people in the family gathered together that don't always see to eye to eye, um, you know, just, just set the intention maybe to radiate love and acceptance and unconditional love and, and, and just, you know, drop things when they're not, <laughs> not, um, you know, stand your ground if, if you need to, but do it, you know, just set the intention to do things in a way that is grounded and remember to breathe before every, <laughs> before going into these situations. All right. Because like, um, we do tune into this stuff and, and we do have the power to change and to set the direction of these energies in, in, you know, ways that, that we can intend. All right. So, um, oh, and also, you know, that, that intention set at these times can be powerful and that can, can bring us even past that actual holiday, you know, just sort of energy that can carry us forward. All right. So have a wonderful holiday, whatever holiday that you happen to land on this. I love you and catch you next time.